All right, so you've got out of your driveway, you've got out of, maybe you have gotten down the street a little bit, you're starting to uh, get some real world distractions like we just had with the dog. Um, so this is what happens a lot when you start doing this stuff. If you didn't start this from the beginning, um, because you've had a dog that's been kind of guiding you on the walks for however long, and you're trying to do this now, um, you're gonna have a dog that's gonna dart off, always trying to, as soon as you get near the grass, or the edge of the road, or sidewalk where there's distractions, they're gonna start putting their nose to the ground. They're gonna try to explore everything. It's gonna be a lot at the beginning. So Ellie right here, she's kind of doing it. Okay nose to the ground okay all I do I just go leave it I give her a little bit of information with the leash just leave it okay it's not that I don't want her to have the opportunity to sniff stuff it's she's going to get an opportunity to do that stuff but she's gonna get it, an opportunity when I give her a release command so um, I use the word break I usually stop I put the dog into a sit Okay, and then I go, Ellie, break. Okay, when I say break, she can go do whatever she wants. Okay, she wants to play with a stick. Good girl, good girl. Her walk should be fun. She should get to have as many of these breaks as I give her. Um, I let her pee, I let her poop, I do all that stuff. But when I'm done, I'll say something like, Ellie, let's go. Oh, Ellie, let's go. Okay, and that means you're back by my side in a heel. Okay, I'm not looking for a competition heel, I just want her next to me. All right, so when you start to have a solid release command, your dog stops doing that bullshit where they're constantly nose to the ground trying to get stuff. I just say leave it, I keep going, I don't slow down, I never let the dog dictate the walk. Unless my dog like literally starts taking a shit in mid stride, I never stop um, until I want to stop. They don't get to dictate anything on these walks. I'm not being an asshole, I'm just letting them know when you're on leash with me, um, I'm the one controlling this, this show, not you. They're gonna have opportunities to have tons of fun, but when I tell them, they can. Again, just putting a lot of rules and structure in the relationship. So look at this dart. One finger, walking in with one finger. Okay, and stop. No command. You can break. When I say break, she can go do what she wants to do. Again, guys, just uh, putting in a lot of structure, a lot of rules into the walks will go so far so um hope this helps give it a shot i'm gonna do another video on how i do the uh, auto sits um like when she just when i stop moving she goes i expect her to go into a sit um go through that in the next video good luck